two hours away from here. That was fun. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here and excited to meet new people, explore new places, and to help. It's always fun to be out of state, you know, and just helping people out your course. You know. Sometimes I kind of take what I have for granted. Uh, it wasn't too bad, actually. We had really good weather. Um, the, uh, the van ran just fine. Nobody died and uh, nobody got hurt. And it just went really smooth. Mission camp is so important. First of all, um, because it's got meat. It's not just milk. So theologically, um, it's deeper and it challenges kids to really be in the Word as well as um, how does the Word um, help lead them in their own this is important for several reasons. The first reason is uh, there's a tendency for kids as soon as they get confirmed to graduate and they're gone. The church is boring. Uh, they find nothing there for them. Uh, it's too slow. There's not enough whatever it is. They're not there. This is our third year with Mission Camp. We got involved because friends with Mark and with Jen and they told me about this awesome camp that was cheaper and is actually better because it was such a tight knit group and so we thought we'd give it a shot. So when we started doing this mission trip because of my daughter and I started to see that other kids who surprised me wanted to be involved and so that was one of the big things. There was a lot of kids like this year we have 35 people from the town of Fort Lewis. That's amazing. Mission Camp is about gathering people from all over the country and then saying, hey, you have a gift of that. Can you use it? Bring it on in. Hey, you're a good preacher. You want to preach? Hey, you're really good at this. Can you bring it on in? The, the camp experience is actually, I think, better because you know everybody in camp by the end of the week. Um, you, know, you know everyone from the crew and you can talk to them. And, remember their face. But I've been to some of the other bigger mission camps. They're not inviting for other leaders or pastors to participate in leadership roles, whether that's in worship, whether that's preaching. Small churches need to have opportunities to do just the same thing. So if you have a smaller church that only has two or three kids, um, you can come and you'll feel welcomed. Or if that youth group grows to 15, 20, you bring all of them. Everybody always feels comfortable. The hospitality is huge. Um, everybody has a place. They find Christ. They find Jesus involved somehow because that's the, I mean, we can do programs. We can do all kinds of stuff, but that, there's only one thing that I see that draws people in general near to anything, and that's Christ. Because once you come here, you can't help but have a good time. And you know that you'll get to see him again at least once. You know, there's a really solid chance that you'll see someone you saw last year, next year, and then you make new friends the next year, and it just continues to grow. And there's this, this community around this camp that is just really unbeatable and I think it draws people in. Kids love it because they get to see all these kids from all over the country. And then of course now we have Facebook and Twittering and emailing and texting and so then the kids stay friends all year and then they come back and they can't wait to see each other. It is a ton of fun. And you get a lot of benefit out of doing the work that we do. 
I've seen it this week. We had a gang fight or two young men fighting across the street. That happened at another site. Both families apologized. They didn't do the fight. Why would they apologize? It's because something good came to their house. Christ has come in the faces of these children and they are finding joy in the middle of that. And they're angry that something changed them. hearing some of the kids pray about uh, the neighborhood kids instead of just a hope we're safe or hope you know, the weather stays cool. It's like, you know, I really hope that we can get this done for these people. It, it's such a beautiful change and it, it leaves a mark in their hearts. It's when they connect, when Christ connects two people, an African American family in the ghetto of Detroit and a white 16-year-old girl from Lancaster, Wisconsin, and they become friends. It, it uh, moves me, as you can tell, because something changes in both of them. Because, you know, we get that glimpse of what Christian life is all about. And then, you know, maybe we try to take it home, but we want it, and we long for it, but we don't see it, so we come back to get it again. It's kids, aren't you? They are their children.